stable diffusion XL comes with a base model and a separate refiner model that can make your images look a little bit better or more detailed. So it is nice to be able to use it. Let's have a look how we can include this refiner model in our Comfy UI workflow. Luckily that is really very very simple because the creator of Comfy UI already made that workflow and gives it to us on his examples page. Scroll down on the Comfy UI GitHub we find the examples, click it and there in this list search for SDXL. What you have is two images. Yeah, The whole trick of Comfy UI workflows is that they are embedded inside the images that you save. As long as you save it as a ping file. So what we do is right click and save the image as and uh, we'll do the same for the uh, second image then you have two different workflows here we are in my download folder i have these two images over here if i would click it it shows me that image but if i drag it onto the workspace then i uh, suddenly have this workflow available <laughs> It may look a, a little bit complicated at first glance, but that really is not the case. There's just a whole lot of additional help text. And if you get rid of that, it looks more streamlined. To make this work, we will have to load two models, the base model here on the left and the refiner model on the right. So we first have to download both these models. For that we can go to Civit AI, uh, click the models over there and in your filters click checkpoint and SDL, SDXL. Then uh, search for SDXL, that's over here. Let's click it and we see here at the top we have the base model, download that. And then over here we have the refiner model and we also have to download that. Once that is done, we will have both of them in our download folder and we have to move them. Those two files, they need to be moved to your Comfy UI install folder and it can have any name that you decided it to have. But inside it, there is a models folder and inside that there is a checkpoints folder. That's where you move your checkpoints. Once the models are in the checkpoints folder, then please refresh your screen, then Comfy UI will find them. And the first thing that we have to do now is select them. In this workflow, they are already selected, but because I renamed them, I have to uh, select the correct names, the base model and the refiner model. Well, it's time to uh, generate an image. Let's click Q and then uh, see what happens. Over here, you have these green markers that show where in the workflow uh, we are and currently we are doing the first base sampling and then it follows with a couple of uh, refiner steps and then it decodes the image to pixels and there we have that very same bottle let's have a little closer look at how exactly this works uh, we start over here with the size of the image. In the case of SDXL, the basic size is 1024. You can use other uh, sizes and there is this little help text with the sizes that uh, are allowed. Well, you can experiment with any size, but these are what will always work. Uh, then, as usual, we have a positive and a negative prompt, and we fill those in over here. Then we, uh, the, the workflow says uh, we have to encode these prompts into uh, positive and negative conditions, so that is what is a standard, and then we can go to the sampler. And here is where something special happens. This is an advanced sampler. It is advanced because it has the option to stop uh, at a certain step. 
and that step that is here the end step and that end step that is given over here we will end at step 20 so this first sampler does not go the full 25 steps that we specify over here that goes to this input steps so the full image is 25 steps but the first sampler only does 20 of course we can change these numbers over here and play with them in general though uh, the second uh, sampler that is the one over here that now uh, gets this later yeah this this we, we can even delete this if you if you don't like all the text delete it um, that second sampler uh, receives the image from the first sampler and it takes then uh, the next five steps because we go from 20 to 25 and this starts at step 20 uh, this is how it works so 20 steps over there five steps over there uh, well the main question now is does it really help does the image improve well let's do a test i entered this prompt in the positive cyberpunk girl with purple hair a leather jacket outdoors and negative ugly and deformed that's what we not want then let's go to the steps over here uh, we do 20 basic steps and then five additional refiner steps for a total of 25 and uh, the seed over here i put it on 117 because i know that renders a nice girl and uh, i fixed it so it won't change anymore if i hit k then uh, this will start and all the uh, texts are encoded the first sampling is now underway let's go a little bit to the side 20 steps for the base image which we do not show and then five more steps for the refiner almost done we decode it to pixels and there we have our girl uh, this is including the refiner and with the, the basic model the basic workflow we did not have a refiner so let's simulate that over here and then compare the images we can simply uh, say that uh, the end steps are at 100 that means the steps is lower than the end steps and then uh, the image is already finished after the first sampling uh, but i do not want to connect that uh, refined image i connect the base image to the pixel decoder and now let's go again now we get 25 steps over here so it's the same amount of steps but we do not do any refiner steps uh, the, of the 25 base steps we are done we go to the decoder and we get uh, that image so let's now compare them the images are saved in the output folder and there they are uh, let i already enlarged them so we can clearly see the difference the final image that we did was without the refiner that is this image and now i will change to the refined image and just take a look here at the mouth and also here at her jacket and that and that zipper uh, you will see if i change right now uh, the mouth oh the mouth is uh, yeah just nicer the face is uh, more detailed and that zipper let's change back and forth a few times so this is not refined this is a refined not refined refined well my personal opinion is that the refined image shows more detail has a little bit better contrast and also the the, the this graining in this leather jacket is just uh, much more natural so well it can depend sometimes a not refined image may be may look better that that depends so you can do both and compare them anyhow this was it for this video in the next video let's have a look how we can install add-ons because there are a couple of add-ons that are really worthwhile to have